Hello, makers. It's it's another meal day Wednesday. Uh, we skipped last week's because well, there was there was only like one package, and and I didn't want to do like a whole meal day Wednesday for just one package. Um, that still would have been worth it, but you know. But today is special. Not only do I have a few packages which I don't have to do with the mural. I think there's like four packages that have to do with the mural. I received this this black box here. This 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 black box right here. This does not come from an airplane, which is a misconception because the black box of an airplane, I think it's what's like red or yellow. That, anyway, this is my MMU2. It's my multi-material upgrade two for my Prusa Mark III. Now this has been sitting here for 24 hours. I have not opened it. It's still completely sealed because um, I wanted to open it with you guys. And since this is mail and this is mail day Wednesday and on mail day Wednesday, I unbox mail. I figured I'm going to unbox this here. For those of you who came here just because of the video title, um, I'm going to open this first just to, you know. So, oh yeah, I bought this. I purchased this. I, I bought this. Every product I've ever reviewed from Prusa, I purchased myself. So, wait, as you guys want to see, you guys want to see what's in here, you guys want to see what's in here. Congratulations on getting the multi-material upgrade too. Yay. And this is, this is my invoice. It's, it's, it's my, Haribo, very important. We have the 3D printing handbook. Before I continue, um, Sunday. I'm going to do a live build. I'm going to put this together on Sunday. I will leave link in the video description for the live stream link. Um, so you guys can sign up and click the bell. So when I'm online, you guys will know. We have a micro USB cable. And then we have here is, oh, this is the board. This is the new, the, the control board, control board. We have the one, two, three, four, five spool holders. These are new like plastic pressed spool holders. We have a box with V2 motors and multiplexer, which basically are stepper motors. And then we have another box. And in this box, wait, hold on, because we have, wait, hold on, before we open that box, we have a few things down here. This is the extruder upgrade. Um, Prusa have decided to put in the box the new extruder parts because they've upgraded the design. I'll be doing this before the live stream. So during the live stream, we'll just concentrate on the multi-material upgrade rather than changing the whole extruder parts. So yeah, I'll, that'll take like an hour, um, but yeah, I'll do it before. We have the cable management thingy and we have some extruder upgrade part. Okay, in this box, in this box, the heavy box, the heavy box has lots of plastic parts. Lots and lots of plastic parts. And more plastic parts. And more plastic parts. These are all the printed parts. And I'm kind of wondering, because I'm going to put this on my black T'Challa uh, Mark III with the Olsen Ruby nozzle. I'm, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to leave it as is for now, but then I'll reprint everything in black. Then we have some, some foam pads. Probably for these. We have some spares. We have some tools. We have the spool holder bearings and rods. We have a packet for electronics. We have the idler body bearings. We have the pulley body bearings. Pulley body, pulley body. And we have some PTFE tubes. That's basically it. Those are the parts. So yeah, Sunday, join me, won't you? Um, I don't, I, I can't promise there will be blue smoke, but you never know. Okay. It's clear. So for those of you who are not interested in Mail Day Wednesday, as you were. For the rest, let's start opening packages. First one is from Stefan Sundström. Sandstrom? Sundström? It's from Stefan, from Sweden. Oh, it's gonna be one of those packages. So, oops. I, I kind of sliced. I sliced it with the knife and now it's open and, and now I gotta have one of these. Really good. I think I might have eaten some of the packaging. <laughs> we have a part, we have a part. We have part number 109, beautifully printed. Well, there's no letter 
there's no envelope, which is not a problem because Stefan is one of my patrons. So I already have an envelope ready for him um, for the Patreon reward. So thank you very much, Stefan. Next is from David Letta. Um, it's from the US. Beautiful red color for red parts. Very nicely printed. Part number 37 have a self-addressed envelope. Hello, Joe, glad you reached out to us stragglers. Darn spam. So what happened with Dave was I had sent the original email for them, for everyone to send me the parts, but apparently it went to Dave's spam folder. Um, so I, when I sent an email to everyone else, um, he told me like I never did receive the email. So I, I resent it and now the parts here. Well, got the part all printed on my Prusa i3 Mark III using Slicer PE. Ready to ship out on the, that would be like 4th of September because we flipped the dates here. As soon as I finish this quick note, I originally contacted you a little over a year ago asking for some advice on purchasing my first 3D printer. I'm now on my third. First printer was a Creality CR10, second was an Anacubic i3 Mega. Got my third earlier this year, a Prusa i3 Mark III kit. I've had a great time with all of them, frustrating at times, but all in all a great hobby. Thanks for your advice and all the great content you and so many others create. Thank you very much, Dave. Glad I could help. Glad I, I could get you into this hobby or help get you into this hobby and and I'm sorry for um, The the financial losses you will incur going forward next is a Is a special special package. Um, this is from I feel like I'm threatening someone uh, This is from Ben at Hawk 3d Proto um, If you don't know Ben well, you really should I'll leave a link in the video description so you guys can follow Ben Ben used to have this awesome showroom with 3D printers and I, I, I was there with him last year at TCT show. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the business business, business anymore, um, but he still has his channel and he still shares his 3D printing experiences. So go check him out. And Ben has, these are really nice stickers. So stickers, Hawk 3D Proto. These are really nice. I really like the finish of these. I need to know where or Ben did his stickers, I want some. Awesome finish, well done, thanks Ben. We'll exchange, I'll send you some of my stickers. Next big box is from Steve Gauthier um, in Canada. I got confused for a second because it said London, Ontario, Canada. Yeah. Lots of packages. So we have a self-addressed envelope. And we have a letter. Hi Joe, enclosed please find part number 63. Printed in iPrint3D.com China Red. It was printed at 0.16 layer height. Yes, I know you specified 0.2 on my custom Hypercube Evo, of which I'm still dialing in. The part has a few zits as I'm still trying to get the bowder retraction settings correct, which are a pain in the, the back. The, the, the rear end. Also, the very tip is a bit melty. Again, as I'm dialing in the settings and most likely will have to extend layer times for cooling. As printed, the part looks usable and I hope it works well with your multi-mural. Also, I followed your content covering the ANET A8 and its customization. I too did the same thing. However, I've gone the AM8 route and have since modified the resulting printer to use PTFE tubing as gliders for the X and Z axis. Mm. The Y axis no longer has smooth rods or iffy <laughs> linear bearings and is now quite providing smooth Z layers. The PTFE Z axis glides on carbon fiber tubes. Ooh, I know, not necessary, but I had the tubes lying around. But it's, it has a cool factor and, and, and that's always better. Also enclosed is something a bit different than the plethora of Haribos and other jellies and candies you've been getting. Yes, I know you have a sweet tooth and I trust that the addition of the maple syrup from Canada <sighs> will be a great addition to your entire family can enjoy. Have some pancakes on me, dude. Thanks for all you do on your YouTube channel as I really enjoy your authenticity and honesty. Yes, I'm a happy maker thanks to your content. So please keep up your high standards as energy and health allow. Here's a happy making back at you. Sincerely, Steve. Dude, thank you. So I've, I've seen the bottom of this and if it's, so there's a, once a friend of mine went to Canada and he got me he got me some um, uh, maple syrup and it's the best maple syrup ever. And there's a particular brand and I have a feeling this is that brand and it is that brand. And I'm so happy, dude, 
I love you. Thank you. <laughs> this is so awesome. Ooh, pancakes this weekend. My daughter is gonna be absolutely, absolutely over the moon. All right, the part. Forgot the part. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the part. We have part number 63. It looks very well. Zits are absolutely fine. The tip is fine. Part looks awesome. Dude, thank you very much. Oh, I'm so happy. Last but not least, this is from Mike Fancy. Mike, also known as NLTMW. Um, never let the machines win. Mike has been a patron of mine since the very beginning. He's been an absolutely great, great friend of mine. Uh, I'm happy to call him a friend nowadays. He's also the one that set up my website. Um, so if you guys need web content, um, speak to Mike. I will leave his Twitter on the well, video description. <sighs> Mike's in stuff. Mike's in, ooh, letter. Letter first. Greetings, Joe. Thank you for letting me participate in your community build. I have probably printed this part four or five times. First in transparent PEG, but it looked too pink. Then I ran a cheap generic red PLA, but it had noticeable layer separation. Finally, I have included two parts and I will let you decide which one to use. They were printed using a fresh roll of Amaze 3D PLA on my stock Hicktop CR10, which is currently my most functional printer because I have been too busy over the last six months to focus on building, repairing any of the others in my collection. I believe the part is the area around Shira, which I can begin <laughs> to be able to pronounce. Shira, uh, it's, it's spelled X-G-H-A-J-R-A. -A um, but the GH is silent, so it's, and, and the X to us is SH. Um, and the J is a what, yeah, and, and yeah, Maltese is complicated. But the Google photos of the area look really nice. Sorry to disappoint you, but I have decided not to contribute to the 3DMM Drive for Diabetes Challenge 2018. <laughs> there is no candy in the box. Instead, I made up a couple of t-shirts, which were also handy to use as packaging. Thank you for inspiring and entertaining the world with your videos. Keep up the good work and never let the machines win. Mike, thank you very much, dude. Um, I'm actually hoping these are a size too small so uh, so I can have motivation to, to keep on running and you know lose more weight. Oh, this is so cool. This is cool. Never let the machines win. And we have the parts. Ooh, so cool. So Mike actually put, wait, wait, what? Where's it gone? This one has it. All right, so on one of them, <laughs> Mike put his logo in. That is so cool. As for the part, I don't know which one. They're both, they both look really good, but I'm gonna use the one with the logo. It, it makes sense to use the one with the logo. It's part number five. Awesome. And it's in there is another t-shirt. Ooh, it's orange. Well, I guess I, uh, I guess I know what I'm wearing on Sunday for the multi-material to upgrade. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to wear this on Sunday for the build and I'm going to get lots of trolls and lots of hate, but you know what? I'll do it anyway. I don't care. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. Okay, that's all the mail for today. Um, so a bit of update of that. So I started a new job and it's been really busy. That's why I didn't upload anything like almost all of last week. Um, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So Sunday I uploaded like that, this thing, this is awesome. And, and, and today I'm gonna upload this. And on Friday, Friday, Friday is gonna be awesome because Friday, you guys, come here. You get to see all about this. I, I'll tell you how, how to put this together, um, what you need and what you can do with it. It won't be about how to take the octolapse time lapses or hook up a DSLR to octolapse. I think that should be some, something completely different, but it will tell you all about the dolly because ultimately that's what, you know, that's what, that's what moves and that's what takes photos. So yeah, that's coming as well, Friday. Make sure you wait for it. And then on Sunday, Sunday we'll do the, uh, the live build. So, It'll be slightly early now that I'm working again. Uh, I cannot stay up late, like on a Sunday. So it'll probably be like 6 or 7 p.m. Uh, CEST. 
I don't know what time it is in any other part of the world, but I, I'm sure that we're gonna we're gonna have like a three hour live stream minimum minimum because we have to put it together and uh, yeah so make sure you join that is it for today thank you guys for watching once again thank you for participating um if you want to send me something address in the video description like share subscribe and as always happy making guys